cycle grid. Tron, Flynn, and Ram were enveloped in gleaming gold cycles. Their opponents were the Blue Warriors, Sark's fiercest cycle jockeys. The two teams sped toward each other, shouting orders and leaving jet walls in their way. This is Blue Leader to Blue Bites. Run these guys into your jet walls. Copy, Blue Leader. Copy, Blue Leader. This is Gold One. Two and three. Split up. Take them one on one. This is Blue Leader. Take them to the right. Stay with them. Stay there to the right. Watch it, Blue Leader. Watch it, watch it. One of Stark's men struck the game boundary wall, creating a huge hole in it. Flynn's heart leapt as he spotted the escape route. Perfect. Goal three to goal two and one. I'm getting out of here right now and you guys are invited. Got it. Gold one to gold two. Ready? Ready. Hey! Get them. Send out every game tank in the grid. Get them! <laughs> Follow me. I'm with you. We've got somewhere about 200 tanks. I should never have written all those tank programs. Target's leaving protected field. The three fugitives dodged into a cavern just as Sark's tanks roared by. Oh man. On the other side of the screen, it all looks so easy. We made it. This far. When do we pay our visit to the old uh, master control, huh? What? There's just three of us. Well, hey, you know anybody who's got an army for rent, that's fine. But my uh, user told me to go take that sucker out. We're never getting out of here. We can't get to the MCP without the help of my user. I have to get to that input-output tower and communicate with him. The three fugitives mounted their light cycles and raced toward the input-output tower in the distance. Meanwhile, Sark was directing the pursuit from his carrier. Pursuit force reporting. We lost visual contact with escaped units awaiting further orders. Get the pursuit forces back into the canyons. Those programs never made it out of there. We'll have them back in no time, sir. We better know the unit. I'll be lucky if the MCP doesn't blast me into a dead zone. I want those conscripts! As the three rebel programs sped through the computer world canyons, they were sighted by a pursuing tank. Range, nine. Mark, 45. 48 degrees. Hold it. Hold it. Fire! Flynn and Ram were thrown from their bikes into a ravine. Tron looked back at the rubble. Thinking his two friends were destroyed, he gave the powerful bike full throttle, trying to stay ahead of the approaching tanks. As Tron sped off to the IO tower, Flynn staggered to his feet, very much alive. He picked up Ram, looking for a safe place to tend the injured program. You're gonna make it, Ram. I just gotta find you a place to rest. Hang in there, Ram. This looks like a good spot. Those tanks won't find us here. Flynn placed Ram inside a deserted recognizer ship. As Ram rested, Flynn looked over the ship's controls. Hey, this looks promising. This is just like the old arcade grips. A normal program could not have repaired the damaged recognizer. But Flynn was not a program. He was a user. And as he touched the ship's controls, the dead circuits blinked to life. You shouldn't be able to do that. All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh. How can you steal a recognizer? Hey, you okay? You don't look so good. We'll get you fixed up. Hang on. Come here. Are you a user? When? Help Tron. Ram. Ram slowly derailed and disappeared. Although Ram had only been a program, Flynn felt like he had lost a friend. Meanwhile, Tron found the city surrounding the IO Tower almost abandoned. The MCP was draining away all its power. In the nearly deserted streets, he spotted a familiar female program. Yori. Tron. Oh, I knew you'd escape. 
Listen, Yuri. We have to make plans. This way. Quickly. Determined to find Tron, Flynn struggled to steer the battered recognizer to the distant city. But the vehicle was unsteady, and it banged against a canyon wall, sending a glowing ball flying nervously about the cabin. Hey! Hold it right there! What do you mean, yes? Is that all you can say? No. Well, anything else? Positive and negative, you're a bit. Well, where's the program? Isn't he gonna miss you? I'm your program. Another mouth to feed. What are you driving? Oh! Bless you. No, 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 Stop me, please. I'm glad you were free. The runaway recognizer came to a crashing halt in the nearly deserted city. But the programs on the street paid no heed. Uh, I'm fine. No problem. Oh, this town is full of live ones. Meanwhile, Tron and Yuri raced through the winding corridors of the I.O. Tower. Their only hope was that the tower guardian, Dumont, would admit them into the communication chamber before the guard sees them. Halt! Dumont! I can't stand all this commotion. What do you want? I've come to communicate with my user. Difficult proposition. Difficult proposition at best. Why, I could be Derez just for letting you in here. They hate this tower. They'd close it down if they dared. They keep me around just in case one of them wants to deal with the other world once in a while. Dumont! My user has information that could, well, could make this free system again. <laughs> no, really. Well, you'd have programs lined up just to use this place. And no MCP looking over your shoulder. And you've been in the system as long as I have. You hear many promises, many reassurances, many brave plans. Please, Dumont. The guards are coming. All right, Yuri. All right. Who is your user program? Alan one. He calls me. May I pass? You may pass, my friend. Tron entered the communication chamber alone. A glowing beam of energy was the communication bridge between the computer and the real world. Tron held out his identity disk. This disk contained all the knowledge that the programmer gave to his program. It's begun. Tron. Location query. Confirmed. Confirmed, Alan One. I am creating the information on your disk that will erase the MCP and change the system. Dedicate yourself to getting the disk into the heart of the MCP. This interface is located at its base. We will not be able to communicate again unless you succeed. Go. This is the key to a new order. This code disk means freedom. Thank you, Dumont. Hurry! The users are waiting! Tron and Yori fled, just as Sark led his troops into the communication tower. Where's the program? What program? Take him! Yori led Tron to a nearby hangar containing a newly designed video ship. Tron marveled as the butterfly-shaped sailor rezzed up. This solar sailor simulation will take us across the game sea, out of this domain, back into the central computer. If I can just get us on a scanning transport beam. There it is. Look out! Sark's guards raced into the hangar. As Yori frantically set the controls on the solar sailor, Tron faced the assault. The first guard was quickly dispatched. Two more were thrown to the hangar floor, and another knocked senseless. Suddenly, a figure raced past the fallen guards. Hey, it's me, Flynn! Flynn! Yeah, greetings, program! Flynn, you're alive! Barely. Where's Ram? He didn't make it. Tron pulled Flynn aboard the solar sailor just as it sped from the tower. Flynn came face to face with Laura's computer counterpart. This is Flynn, the one who busted me out. Laura? Well, then I owe him some thanks. No, it's, uh, <laughs> no big deal. I ought to know my way around the light cycle routine. I wrote the program for it. You wrote the program? It's time I'd level with you. I'm what you guys call a user. 
You're a user? I took a wrong turn somewhere. But if you are a user, then everything you've done has been according to a plan, right? <laughs> you wish. But you guys know what it's like. You just keep doing what it looks like you're supposed to be doing, no matter how crazy it seems. Well, that's the way it is for programs, yes. I hate to disappoint you, pal, but most of the time that's the way it is for users, too. The solar sailor streaked across the ravaged computer domain. All around were the burned out hulks of once powerful cities, all drained by the MCP. Suddenly, Sark's powerful carrier overtook and rammed the fragile sailor. In the impact, Tron was thrown from the ship. Sark's warriors raced onto the ship and took Flynn and Yari aboard the carrier as prisoners. Don't push me, I'm moving. Dumont! Yari! Tron? Tron's dead. Who's that? That is a user, Dumont. He came here to help us. Tron believed in him. If the users can no longer help us, we're lost. Sark strode boldly into the cell. I'm taking our friend here and some other religious fanatics to master control. When I disembark, this ship and everything that remains on board will automatically de-res. This means you. There's nothing special about you. You're just an ordinary program. So are you, one that should have been erased. Move out! Route us to the MCP. I want to get rid of this dead weight and catch a transport beam to the game domain. Within moments of Sark's departure, the massive carrier began to derail. As the power drained from the ship, Yori's body began to fade from sight. Hey, Yori. I still have power. Sark doesn't know that. No. Leave me alone. We failed. We're only going to fail if we give up. Now, come on, look! Flynn grasped Yori's hand. His power renewed her, reversing the derezzing process. You brought me back. How? Why did you bring me back? I need your help. Come on. Sark's transport module reached the MCP tower with its cargo of captive programs. The master control program was just about to take over their functions when he paused. I feel a presence. Another warrior is on the mesa. It was Tron. He had not fallen from the ship, but had grabbed onto Sark's transport module. And now, he was within striking range of the MCP. I don't know how you survived, slave. It doesn't matter. Prepare to terminate. Using his code disk as a weapon, Sark hurled it fiercely at Tron. Tron deflected the shot, and the disk flew obediently back to Sark. Tron returned the attack. You're very persistent, Tron. I'm also better than you. The gleaming disks flashed back and forth. Sark was the stronger warrior, and he made a brutal throw. At the last possible second, Tron dodged and threw his own disc. The mighty weapon sailed true and struck Sark in the head. Energy sparks flew and the evil warrior toppled to the ground. The MCP looked at its fallen protector and for the first time felt fear. Sark! All my functions are now yours. Take them. Concentrating all its power, the MCP transferred its strength into Sark's lifeless body. Sark's circuits began to pulse again, and the warrior climbed to his feet. Infused with the awesome power of the MCP, Sark grew to enormous size and strength. Tron would be crushed by this giant. Sark's carrier came into sight overhead. Flynn saw Tron trapped between Sark and the MCP. I got it. Steer us over by the beam. Right next to what good will that do? I'm gonna jump. Don't you be derezzed. Don't worry. Flynn's body spiraled down into the communication beam, deep into the core of the MCP. Disrupted by this intruder, the master control program began to heat up. Its power transfer to Sark was cut off, and the warrior stumbled to the ground. Grasping the opportunity, Tron hurled his code disk straight into the base of the MCP. There was a blinding blast of energy. The huge program melted down, freeing the hundreds of programs the MCP had taken captive. The computer world blossomed to life again as power surged back into the decaying cities. Sark's carrier landed, and Tron rushed to Yori. We did it! Uh. <laughs> 
Where's Flynn? It was incredible. He threw himself into the beam and distracted the MCP just long enough for you to get your disc in. <sighs> Do you think Flynn knows we won? Come, my video warriors. Look at the I.O. towers. Every tower is lighting up. I wish Flynn was here to see this. Flynn found himself once again in the laser lab. A smile crossed his face as he read the data printing out on the computer screen. Original program written by Kay Flynn. <laughs> All right. Dillinger saw the same readout at his desk terminal. He slumped in his chair. His evil program and his career were both finished. But for others, this finish meant a new beginning. Not only for Flynn, Alan, and Laura, but for their electronic counterparts as well. Because now, theirs was a free new world deep within the computer.